Good morning, Gators. Today, Amal and I are at Air Station Clearwater. So today, we're going to be going around the Air Station and asking a few members about Hurricane Relief. Lieutenant Stricker, he is a C-130 pilot. So do you want to explain a little bit about what you do here? I'm a Coast Guard C-130 pilot. Uh, we do search and rescue, law enforcement, uh, right out of Clearwater, Florida. And so we fly all the way down to the islands in Central America and we help boaters who might have sunk or kayakers who might have you know, gone missing offshore. We go look for them. And then also we do law enforcement for like drugs coming ashore and stuff like that. So you've been involved with Hurricane Lee, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Right. Uh, we flew missions over to Harvey, which was, as everybody knows, over in Houston. Came ashore and flooded the whole area. We hauled a whole bunch of crews, people and personnel, and cargo over there to help out, like relief supplies and things. And then uh, we went into Beaumont, Texas, where it was cut off completely by floodwaters but the airport was still open. So we flew in there and we took out a whole bunch of refugees and we brought them up to Dallas. And then prior to Maria making landfall down in the islands, we flew down and evacuated personnel from the Virgin Islands and people from Puerto Rico and brought them back to the States, dependents and things. And um, so that when the hurricane moved through, they'd be safe in safety. Uh, so primarily for the hurricanes, it's logistics. We, we can haul a lot of equipment, 15 tons of equipment, um, and like uh, water and food and people. And so that's what we're busy doing for those. So what exactly interested you in joining the Coast Guard? So the Coast Guard's mission is operational response, like search and rescue and law enforcement. I thought that was pretty neat to do. Um, and then they afforded me the opportunity to fly these large aircraft, which is also a good time. So um, it was a great career because I could continue flying through the whole time um, that I'm in the service. And I don't have to go like run a desk or something like that. So I wanted to fly all the time and be a pilot. And so the Coast Guard allowed me to do that. I understand you're a pilot, but you're also a stand pilot. So what's the significance of that? Okay, so a normal pilot does the operational response thing that I'm talking about and stands duty on a daily basis and they go out and help these people um, as soon as they get a call and the, you know, they come in and they say, hey, we need to launch out. What I do is I train all those pilots. So I did that before where I stood duty and took off when the alarm went off. But now I train all the new pilots coming in and the pilots who have um, been out for a while and they're coming back to fly, I train them on how to fly the plane again. And then also, I travel around the country to different Coast Guard C-130 units, and I make sure that they're doing everything by the book. So I'm kind of like the inspector. I go in and I inspect these units and make sure that they're you know, in compliance. And I just got back from Hawaii, which was awesome. Now we have a unit out in Barbers Point, Hawaii, and um, so I got to spend 10 days out there flying around the islands and, and testing the, guy, the guys and girls and making sure that they're all in compliance. So it's a pretty neat job. And uh, there's only one team like ours in the Coast Guard. There's only six pilots and we have seven enlisted crew members. So kind of a small little unit for a large organization. Pretty neat job. Okay, thank you so much for taking your time to do this interview and thank you for your service. No problem. My name is Chelsea Carrillo. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Chelsea Quill. I'm an H-60 pilot here at Air Station Clearwater. So the H-60 is the aircraft that we are currently standing in front of, um, and I'm a rescue helicopter pilot. So we use the H-60 to um, rescue people typically out of the water or uh, to conduct medical evacuations off of vessels um, out at sea. Awesome. In regard to Hurricane Maria, what have you been doing for the For Hurricane Maria, I personally have not been down to Puerto Rico, um, but my collateral job that I have here is flight services. Cool. So what we normally do is provide any information um, both before and after a flight. And so I've been collecting all the data for the flights that have gone down. Um, so as of right now, we've evacuated approximately 430 people and about 350,000 pounds of cargo and supplies have gone down to Puerto Rico. Tell me why you wanted to join the Coast Guard Division. Uh, initially, I grew up in Connecticut, where the Coast Guard Academy is, and I grew up um, sailing and boating, 
So being on the water all the time, I thought that joining the Coast Guard would be a fun job because, you know, you'd be out on the water, but also very rewarding because our primary mission is search and rescue. And I really wanted to do a job where I would be helping other people. And so far I've gotten to do that a lot, which has been great. So why did you decide to become an H-60 helicopter? Um, like I said, I saw the Coast Guard Academy while I was growing up and decided that I wanted to try to go there and then join the Coast Guard after graduation. Um, and so while I was at the Academy, we took a tour of the air station Cape Cod and I saw the H-60 and initially I'd wanted to uh, drive ships for a living because I thought that would be the best way to help mariners. Um, but then when I saw the helicopters, I was like, forget about boats, I want to fly those. Uh, How fast is the H-60 going? Uh, we're usually operationally limited to about 125 nautical miles per hour, um, which rough estimate is probably about 130 miles per hour. Um, the fastest we can go is 180. So you mentioned that you went to the Coast Guard Academy. How did you get into that? Uh, for my personal path to the Coast Guard Academy, um, I had to go to a year of preparatory school first. Uh, which was actually the Naval Academy Preparatory School in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, so the majority of my classmates there actually went to the Naval Academy the next year. And then there was 40 of us that um, had appointments the next year to go to the Coast Guard Academy. Uh, and then from there, I did the one year of prep school and then went to the Academy after that. It's very competitive to the Coast Guard Academy? Yes, it is. So they have a couple thousand people that apply every year. And then the classes usually start out around 250 to 300, and your graduating class is usually about 200. So I'm here with Ms. Menzi. She's one of the pilots who works here. And so, do you want to tell us about yourself? Absolutely. Hi, my name is Janine Menzi. I'm a C-130 pilot in the Coast Guard. I've been in the Coast Guard for about 14 years now, and I've been flying C-130s, which is the aircraft you see right behind us, for about 12 years. So what kind of missions do you hear for C-130 Okay, the C-130 is used for a variety of missions. We use it for humanitarian missions, just like the hurricane relief that you've been seeing, where we fly lots of aid and different supplies down to areas that need it. We also do law enforcement mission, and that could be uh, fisheries patrols or drug enforcement missions, and also search and rescue missions, which most of the general population knows us for. So what exactly are you guys doing to help with here at Air Station Clearwater has been flying non-stop for hurricane relief this summer. The C-130s in particular have been flying to Puerto Rico, both San Juan and Barrancan, to take relief supplies down. And those supplies include food, water, generators, anything that can help the citizens and active duty personnel down there rebuild Puerto Rico. What exactly made you interested in wanting to join the well, first off, I have to say that I absolutely love the Coast Guard as a service, and I do believe in all the missions that the Coast Guard represents. Um, I joined the Coast Guard primarily because I fell in love with those missions. Law enforcement, humanitarian missions, search and rescue, are, you know, waking up every day and finding out that you are charged with participating in some sort of effort to help someone or save someone from being exposed to drugs in our country is really the heart and soul of why I, I wake up every day and come to work for the Coast Guard. Do you have any advice for the students at Land Lakes who want to join the Coast Guard or maybe Absolutely. So if any student is interested in joining the Coast Guard, first and foremost, just like any profession you would like to um, get involved with or join when you leave high school, is make sure you stay in school and make sure you do your research. Research all the avenues that you have available to um, access that training and higher education. After that, I would say the best thing that I can tell you is find some mentors. Whatever profession that you want to go to, whether you want to be a pilot in the Coast Guard, whether you want to be a public affairs specialist, a food specialist, or drive boats in the Coast Guard, do some research on that. Find some folks who actually are involved in those missions and those operations, and they will tell you their stories, and you'll learn that there are several different ways for you to really get to your goal and your dreams. That's all we have for you today from the Air Station. See you later, Gators.